one of my channel videos. <laughs> okay, so if you're wondering why my hair is crazy, I had a hectic night. I shouldn't even be recording this video, but <laughs> I was like, it's been so long. I'm recording a December favorite almost at the end of January. I need to do it. I was in the ER yesterday all night, and uh, yeah, I'm on bed rest for today, but I'm back to work tomorrow. I'm supposed to take it easy, but you know, it's kind of hard when, you know, you're 19 and you live on your own with your boyfriend. You have to work, so <laughs> I'm here. And I'm not really the kind of person that can stay in bed. So, here I am. I have crazy hair, but here I am. And literally, I don't know, I think the doctor is right. Like, I was doing my makeup, and I'm so tired. I feel so tired right now. Like, I'm, after this video, I'm going to go back to sleep. I've been sleeping all day, and I just got up to do this video. And I did do my makeup, so. Something special. I have, like, the thinnest wing ever. Nothing special. So let's record this video so I can go to sleep. <laughs> okay. So first we're going to talk, I guess, from face to eyes. If that makes any sense. So I've been really obsessed with this. It's not a makeup product, but it's beauty. It's called, it's the Therapeutic Moisturizing Cream. It's just like the Walmart brand. This is kind of an old tub that we had lying around. Uh, I never got into it till for the past month. I've been using it. It's just like... It's probably gross in there. It's just a cream. It's a really thick, thick formula. It's like Vaseline, kind of. So if you have oily skin, I really don't recommend this. But I just, I've been using it. I put it on under here. I put it on basically in my T-zone around my nose, where it's the driest. I put it on, and then I put it on my primer right on top of that. And my makeup's been gliding on beautifully. So that's why that's my favorite. I just got this a couple days ago, probably like two, three days ago, but it's what I'm wearing on my face. It's the Revlon 24-hour color stay makeup. I have it in for normal to dry skin because I have really dry skin in fresh beige. And so far, my skin looks amazing with this. I, I've used this before, and then I stopped. I really loved it, but I it just I, I didn't buy it again. I don't know. I just I started using something else when I was young. Like well, not younger, but I've always been like. I've always been like, I can't just use one foundation to have one holy grail foundation. I'm not even kidding. Like, <laughs> I use all of these. So, every day I just kind of change. But I definitely love this one. I've been using this one nonstop since I got it. I, w I did have an issue with finding the right color. The first color I got was too dark. This color, I mean, looks... I'm kind of really pale right now and the light isn't very good. But it, it's working so far so good. Okay, and then next thing for my face, I've been using the Matte Finish um, Finny Long Lasting Setting Spray by NYX. Uh, it mattifies your face, so you put on... Um, I'm not really a person that likes dewy skin, so I guess it works out for me. I just spray it on my face and mattifies my face, and it holds my makeup in place all day. I have heard that it is a really good dupe for the Urban Decay one, so if you use that one or have used that one and you really liked it, I would give this a try because it's a lot cheaper. I think it's like $8. This is like $12.99. I'm not sure about the lotion since it's just been around for so long. Next, I'm going to go into my eyebrows. So I've been using this, the Brow Drama Gel by Maybelline that just came out. It looks like this. I really like it. I like it for when I'm using the pomade and I'm being lazy and I just kind of do my eyebrows fast and then I run this through my eyebrows. It um it really does fill them in and it holds them really good. The only thing I don't like is they feel kind of clumpy if you touch them. They don't look clumpy, but they feel clumpy. So for me, that's kind of, I know what's going on on my eyebrows even if um nobody else knows. But yeah, so I really like this. It stays on all day and I mean, it does its job. Uh, the other thing I've been loving and using all the time, I've it's actually replaced my my dip brow. I haven't used this in a really hot minute because I've been using this. It's the uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculpt, and you've probably seen commercials for it. I use the color brunette. I use the color brunette, and it's what I'm using on my eyebrows now, and I love it. It's so fast. I just underline and I just go 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 and then I just put on like a clear brow gel and I'm good 
especially because I've been waking up early because of my job. So, um, and it comes with this little pencil, and it comes with the wax. I'm not really a fan of the wax. The wax is to clean up, so if you put it on, it literally erases it for you. So, I mean, if you're, I'm not a fan of it. I feel like it just ruins the purpose of me even drawing in my eyebrows. But if you're a fan of it, you'll probably love it. So, yeah, this is a really good option. It's similar to the Brow Wiz. I've noticed it's a similar color. And the way it glides on is similar. You just have to sharpen it. It's not a mechanical pencil. But I love it. So I would definitely give this a try. Next thing I have is for the eyes. Which is the eye tech. Oh no I'm going to do lips. Because I was going to go. Okay. Oh no I forgot my face. Okay. So I have this. This has been like my little holy grail. Since I got it. I got this at Forever 21. It's just a palette of blushes. Like this. And it was $8. Um. It does have a funny smell. It has like the fake makeup kind of smell, but I really do like it. It's it's so pigmented the colors. Like I'm I'm more of a fan of these two colors because they're not as bright. I mean, I don't know if I'd really wear when or how I would wear this cuz it is literally electric pink. It's just like a I don't know. It's crazy, but on somebody who's darker like darker, that would look beautiful. Like even this color would be beautiful. It's like, this is red. This is literally red. I think this would be fun for like Halloween looks and stuff. Or just like dramatic, just playing with makeup kind of looks. But these are definitely my favorite. They're a little more subtle. This It kind of looks bright on here. It's a little more subtle. And then this one is like a brown, peachy color. They're just, they're gorgeous. I put this really lightly then I put this on top and I've been loving this and it's a great buy for eight dollars if you're just like getting into makeup and you're barely starting in it and what's really cool is the, the packaging is really cheap but what's really cool is if I already broke it but if you like break the packaging you can depot them and stick them in like a Z palette and then if you don't like if the packaging really bothers you that much it doesn't bother me I think it kind of looks good it looks kind of cool like this so I just left, left it like this but yeah this is awesome if you're just playing with blushes if you I'm all about blushes like out of everything I think I have like a, a bajillion blushes I love blush my mom would always tell me I put on too much blush but I don't care because I love blush so much so that's why I really I'm really into this so get, check this out I don't know where I got it at Clackamas at the mall so I don't know if they have it at this one. I haven't looked. I haven't been in there. So uh, yeah, check it out. If not, I'm sure it's online. Next thing I have is for my lips. I showed these in another favorites video, which are the NYX Soft Mate Creams. I recently got two colors that I am in love with. This is a red, like the perfect holiday red. I wore this for Christmas. Um, it's just so beautiful, and it dries matte. And you can kiss, you can talk, you can eat with it, and it won't it won't budge. And this color, I've been looking everywhere for it. I'm not even kidding. I tried to order it online. I went onto the NYX website, and it was sold out. I went to Ulta this weekend. I just happened to look for it, like I always do when I go in there, and I found it. I was like, what? Even the guy, the like, the girl and a guy that works there were shocked that I found it. Like they were jealous because everybody's looking for this color. And this is just oh my god, it's beautiful. It's just like a deep cherry. It's like it has a pink undertone, but it's just so gorgeous. I'm so in love with this. So these are my top two matte lip creams. These in general are the best for lip creams, I think, in the drugstore. So I would definitely check those out. Next, I've always ranted about these NYX um, uh, lip lip liners. And I got, I finally got it in new truffle, which is like a brown. Here, I'll show you. I'm, I am wearing it on my lips, but I'm wearing it with a lighter color in the center. It's literally brown. But if I wear my whole lip brown, I will literally look like a chola. So I'm not doing that. I put a lighter color, but I love, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Those lip pencils are so good. I have so many of them, and I love them so much. And they're only $3, $3.99, and they always have a buy one, get one half off. So when I go, I always get like 10 <laughs> But yeah, I have, I think I have almost every color except the pearl and the pinks, I think. Next, I have this Milani Eye Tech, which is really, really comparable to the lip liner, that uh, the, the eyeliner that I used to use, which was the Tarte 
um, Precision Longwear Eyeliner. They are literally, these are dupes. They are, not only do they look the same, except the Tarte one is a little cuter, but they are exactly the same. I don't know if you can see that. They are exactly the same. The way that they line is exactly the same. If anything, I think this is a Milani one and that's the the Tarte one. If anything, I think the Milani one is a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm in love with it. I use it every day. It's probably going to be my holy grail. Milani in general is such an awesome brand that I just... I can go on and on and on for days. Next, we're going to go into eyes. I've kind of been on an Urban Decay, like, just, like, going nuts about it. I got the Naked 3 palette, which I'm in love with. It's, like, the rose gold kind of colors, and I'm in love with those. They're, like, a little more cool toned, and they comes with this little brush and a pretty big mirror. And I'm in love with this palette so far. It's probably one of the best. Out of all of the Naked palettes, this is the one that kind of draws my attention more with the packaging and then just overall the colors. Just because of my undertone, I think that they go best. Uh, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas. This is the Naked On The Run palette. Oh, stupid mirror. The Naked On The Run palette, which is a really good deal. It's $54, The just like the Naked 3, but this one comes with a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, uh, five never before seen shades, a really pretty lip gloss, an eyeliner, and a mascara. I'm using the mascara and the eyeliner and the lip gloss. And trust me, these are your gonna turn into your everyday things. I am using the blush right now. Um, I am using the highlighter. The eyeshadows I haven't really gotten into playing with them a lot, just because they're more like this is like a rose gold kind of that color. This is more here. I'll swatch them all. So there's those. And then they are super highly pigmented, so you really are getting a bank for your book. That's this one's my favorite. It's gorgeous. This one and that one. But yeah, you get a lot for what you're paying for. So this is a really good deal too, and it's awesome for when you're gonna travel because you have pretty much everything. Also, this one I bought this one because I am gonna travel. I am going to Mexico next month. At the end, I'm going for a whole seven days. And it's just a little palette like this. It's got all these cool, like, colors that you can make any look. I used every single eyeshadow in this palette to do the look I'm doing now. So, I wanted this so I can just put it in my bag and I don't have to take all my eyeshadows or, like, my naked palette that's so big. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I've been using this nonstop since I got it. So, yeah. And next, um, last but not least, this is... In my favorites. Um, my mom got me this for Christmas. I was really wanting something like this. Because I do freelance if anybody's interested. I guess I'm advertising for myself. I do makeup for people. And um, I charge a lot less just because I don't consider myself a professional. So I don't feel like I'm in the right to charge professional prices. So I charge um, just average uh, for like a face for like homecoming or prom, even a wedding. I have done a 15. Um, I just charge $10 for face. I don't do hair because I'm not very good at it, as you can tell. I don't feel like I'm good at hair, but I just do face. So, um, I charge $10 for face, and so I wanted something so I don't have to carry, like, tons of things. And this is, like, huge. It, like, opens up, and it's got all this storage in there. And so my mom got me this for Christmas, and I was super happy. But yeah, those are all my favorites. I think my... Last super favorite is my shirt. It's got a cheeseburger on it. <laughs> my boyfriend bought me this yesterday. Um, but yeah, these are all my favorites for December slash January. I'm, I skipped, which I just had a lot of stuff going on at one time. But I am back and hopefully, you know, I have a good recovery and we can record more and more videos. I do work a really hefty, hefty schedule. I work... Eight to five, but most of the time it ends up dragging out.